Many people think uh, to be a scientist, you're born a scientist. No, it's about exposure. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, once again, welcome back to the African Traveling Teachers YouTube channel. Today I take you on a journey of a school that is using the same national curriculum with an approach that is disrupting the education ecosystem in Uganda and MST stands for Mathematics, Science and Technology. Please come with me on this journey with Maria Sumpta. Hello, my name is Maria Sumta and I'm an OG to this school, MST Junior School. It's Mathematics, Science and Technology in full. So what I've, I liked about MST is that it helped improve on my agriculture skills, my sports skills and many others. But the main reason is that it helped me to improve on my agriculture skills on how to plant matoke, how to rear chicken, how to rear pigs and many others. Good morning. My name is Francis. What's your name? My name is Sentongo Einstein. I'm here at your store to learn about what you're doing and you know what excites you about yes. the work you're doing here. Yes. So feel free to share with us and let's teach us. Okay. So I won't take you through. So here we are, the whole process is semen extraction. So now we're going to use a dummy saw to extract the semen from a boar. Semen extraction. What does that mean? Like we like we're going to get the semen from uh, a boar and then like we we keep it like it's now under our control. So you can take it and use it for doing Yes. So typically how it happens, we have a dummy saw here. So what what we do, we we can pour like urine of of a saw that's on heat and the urine will attract a boar. So the boar will come and it will ejaculate its semen. So after it ejaculates its semen, it will ejaculate into a semen collection box here. My name is Michael Muhanga Kayondo, and I'm in P6 at MST Junior School. So I'm going to take you through the process of how we rear pigs, piggery management. So we have structures A1, A2, B, C, D, and E. So the mother pig is brought to A1 seven days before she gives birth. So when she gives birth, she's allowed to breastfeed her piglets for 28 days only. So the 28th day, we will now take her to A2. We will now take the piglets to A2. That's winning. So in A2, they feed throughout. The system is called ad lib system. So in A2, that's where the, the winner's house, they spend their 42 days. And if you add 42 plus 28, you'll get 70 days. So 70 on the 70th day, while well, you're taking them to E, which is the grower's house, that they must be 20 to 25 kilograms. So when the piglets want to breastfeed, they pass through these holes for breastfeeding. This is where the sow feeds from, and this is where the piglets feed from. When I finish school, I'll make a farm. It has piggery management. Um, rabbit rearing and other stuff. You are most welcome our dear visitor and I'm going to take you through systems of wearing poultry. There is butter cage system, depleter system, penal force system and cage system. I'm going to take you through cage system because it's the one we have here. Cage system is a rearing of birds in cages. The reason why we use cage system. The the birds are kept in small spaces. Mm -hmm. It is cheap. It requires less attention, and the farmer gets time to do other activities. Disadvantages: the wires might like poke the chickens' legs, and they get injuries. And what diseases cannot be be controlled because one hen might have a leak. A disease and another might have a disease. Okay, thank you, Mister. I'm going to explain about an incubator. Mm -hmm. My name is Asimu Brandon Ephraim and I'm from MST Junior School. So, first of all, an incubator is a structure or equipment that is built specifically to provide necessary conditions to fertilize eggs in order for them to touch into chicks. So, the functions of each part in this incubator first of all, we have the trays. These trays are used just for holding the eggs. 
Uh, the fans provide humidity and air because it's a water source there where it blows the water vapor. And then there's an ordinary scientific thermometer to regulate and measure the, the temperature in the incubator. So my name is Moviru Sudais and I'm here to take you through the process of sampling cell. So here we have cell sensors. These cell sensors help to detect the what? activities taking place in cell. So these cell sensors have probes that are inserted in soil. Then when when they are inserted in soil, they start detecting the what? The activities in soil. So when they detect, they send the acti the information through the cable here, and it's the information is taken to this antenna here. So this antenna here has an NFC antenna in it. The NFC antenna takes what? helps to send the information on on the computer here. Mm. So this computer here interprets the information that is that has been sent on, on and then it it interprets the information then it puts it on a, on graphs as you see as you see here it what it it sampled it last sampled it last sampled at at one, yeah, and the temperature in the soil it sampled wa, was thirty point two degrees Celsius. This is Mr. Mugerwa, the principal of MST Junior School. I'm excited to be here and as the African traveling teacher to explore your school, I would like to share with the world about the work of MST, what motivates you about doing the work you're doing and what is well, that one thing that you're most proud about since uh, you started working in this school. Yeah, my name is Washington Mugerwa, uh, principal uh, with Dr. Narima uh, of MST Junior School. MST stands for mathematics science and technology why those three those are three on which the whole world is moving it either has to be mathematics science and technology then the world will move here we try to impart skills into kids so once again with uh, dr naluyima one who has an education innovation that is disrupting the education ecosystem in Uganda. My name is Narima Emma, um, director of MSC Junior School. Now, MST stands for Math, Science and Technology. Why Math, Science and Technology? Because these are the three things that make the world move. And many people think uh, to be a scientist, you are born a scientist. No, it's about exposure. Once you expose the children, early then you actually they will become scientists they will become mathematicians in africa or in uganda we have a challenge that we don't maybe have infrastructure but we can still innovate we don't need to wait for other people to innovate for us we can use what we have my name is always aurelia i'm going to tell you how i've enjoyed my life in this school as you can see right now i'm standing in msc junior school completing my primary seven so in this school i have learned very many skills and as you can see i'm holding a guitar right here I've learned how to play uh, and this instrument, and I look forward to anyone to invite me. I play at the show. So uh, I have learned other skills like farming. I heard about you. I was at home watching some YouTube shots. Mm -hmm. So I just saw one video of you when you were in the US in some, in some international school. Mm -hmm. You are shooting a video while you post on your YouTube status. I should ta work harder such as I can become one of the famous people I've been seeing on YouTube, TikTok, one of the richest billionaires in Africa. Make friends who help you and who make use of you. 
I would like to do some more of sports, but also I'm account. The African mm-hmm. traveling mm-hmm. teacher. Personally, I'm 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 passionate about agriculture, and I have some projects running, and so I want at least one of my children to start it and groom it, because in Africa, education alone is no longer adequate. We need to add in something for the child to stand and be unique. Subscribe on YouTube channel, the African traveling teacher.